Hold up right quick, guys. Listen. Dude, put that rattlesnake down right now. Shoo wee oh my goodness. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally got our custom windows in for this house from sunwindows.com. And we already installed three of them. And only one of them is actually fully secured. The other two are just sitting on shims. And that's exactly where we're gonna continue today. We're gonna hopefully get a lot more windows installed. We're basically gonna go ahead and install the two by fours uh, on those right there. Just basically make a perimeter for them and then hopefully move up top. We're definitely gonna have to set up some sort of platform with the skid steer, the excavator. And we even got pops out here with some ladders and all that good stuff. We got a lot more tools, a lot more equipment. We are ready to rock and roll. So we're super excited about installing these windows. But I guess before we get to work, what we wanna do is actually water our grass, right? Because we haven't watered that sucker in like, what, a week already? Yeah, a week. It was kind of wet whenever we first threw them down, but dude, it's been dry for a couple of days, which is a good thing, but we need to water those, man. Definitely, and I think we're gonna set up like a dual sprinkler system right here that, because we got a lot of coverage that we gotta do right there. Yeah, so. we can't do that by hand, so we went ahead and bought an extra sprinkler and hose. That way we can just turn both on at dude, once. I'm so excited about the, I'm more excited about the windows and the grass, but the grass is pretty exciting as well, because look how good that dude. looks, dude. Just that bottom section right there looks like a brand new house. Imagine those other uh, three windows in that massive top oh, window, dude. dude. That's going to be a challenge. Hopefully we can get to that today. But anyways, I say we water the grass and then we move on to the windows. Alright guys, so check that out. We finally got both of our sprinkler systems putting in work right now simultaneously just getting that top half of the hill and before your very eyes we're gonna have grass sprouting dude. Dude, it's gonna be beautiful. How tall do you think it's gonna get? I really don't know. What is it? Kentucky tall fescue? That sounds pretty tall man. Hopefully it's like three feet but I mean one foot would be alright but the taller the better honestly Heck dude. yeah, but another thing I'm wondering is how the heck are we gonna maintain the side of this hill dude? Man, I doubt a zero turn is gonna get it but we're gonna test it out. Or we can get some donkeys, some zebras or some billy goats. Dude, whatever you call them suckers imagine those miniature goats with or, the horns on them dude that would be pretty sick just like fence off this little air area right here dude that'd be crazy dude man. we're Who definitely knows? gonna have to do that if the zero turn can't handle it build like a little perimeter there maybe a little house right there man that'd be crazy man we're just gonna have all types of livestock out here that'd be cool dude what about a mini ostrich dude what about just a horse dude you know what i mean i wonder if you can uh, do we, we yeah, got... i remember reading something whenever we were buying this property and they allow a horse can you believe that no way yeah they do so we may have to look into that anybody got a horse they just wanted to die. we already got a mustang i guess we'll just have another one a non super we just need a one horsepower walking around or maybe two horses that'd two be horsepower. cool dude. Dude, that'd livestock be would be awesome up here but anyways we're gonna go ahead and just set that yeah we'll probably let it run for another hour and then we'll move it down a little bit further that way it can get the bottom half i mean this stuff sprays about 20 feet out so it's pretty dang good right now great pressure running off of the well pump right yeah. there and uh running two sprinklers Dude, once we get our well house completely set up and we get an uh, actual pump inside the house that actually does the water pressure we'll probably get a strong one that way we can have some strong pressure because i, I just want to pressure wash without a pressure wash you know what i mean no doubt we're definitely gonna have a lot more water pressure i can't wait to actually get that set up but i guess set that aside and what are we doing now? Let's go ahead and hop back in the house and try to get those windows installed.
Dang, son. Dude, this is legit. That man. is legit. I love how these casement windows open up, and I love how everything went so smooth, man. Dude, after that first window, we learned a lot. These other two was actually pretty dang simple, right? Exactly. We got them completely framed out from the inside, and they are ready for sheetrock. They look and it good. was a lot easier because we finally got a what's a table, table saw. Table saw, yes, so sir. That sucker made it a lot easier. We got them all framed out with a new foam because we actually found out that they sell foam for windows and doors. It's low expansion and it helps with the window whenever it expands and contracts, dude. Exactly. Look what happened to this stuff right here that we used. It just it like shot out the dude, other side. We're dude. gonna have to clean that stuff up off that window, but we learned a lot and now we bought a bunch of this stuff. So hopefully we can do it right now, dude. Exactly. But dude, I'm loving the process so far. The next thing I guess is to move upstairs. Hopefully those are easier, dude. Yeah, upstairs, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting them out. I believe we're gonna take a different route and actually try to take the windows apart more. You know what I mean? Exactly, like the and there's and another stuff. thing that we do need to mention. We've seen a lot of comments. You guys are saying that we should have saved those and donated them to somebody, but... But whenever we're trying to pop these suckers out, like the bottom ones, they're in here so tight with the brick and stuff that they actually break when we're trying dude. to like hammer them out. So there's no point of... Believe me, you, Pops would have saved those suckers. Oh, you don't yeah. know how bad he wanted those windows, dude, man. He, he, I mean, I mean, he's saving a few windows that he can reuse if uh, at his house whenever they bust or something he can just slap a new one in but we're trying to save as much as possible and they're just really difficult it's to nearly save. impossible but anyways i guess we're gonna go ahead and let me try to break this off hopefully it didn't stain yeah we're definitely gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup but i guess shut her down and let's and, uh, move upstairs let's do it So check this out guys we just removed the upstairs windows right there is all the scraps from it but we just paused for a quick second because mom just pulled up with a whole entire crock pot of rice chicken salad what do you what do you call this right here i don't dude? know man ain't this like jambalaya or something like that it's just rice with chicken and they're really good chicken dude. drumsticks dude this is some fire stuff right here we got a, enough to feed a whole entire little army, dude. <laughs> we got a crock pot over here, dude. Got the whole entire crock pot. Got, got to have this right here, man. Oh, definitely. That's dude. fire, but thank you so much, Mom. Fist bump. You're welcome. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and eat and get right back to work. Let's do it.
Oh my goodness, look at that view without the windows, dude. Dude, the view with the windows is gonna look just the same, dude. Exactly, because we got our very first window just kind of put into place, but this upper window is actually gonna be a different installation process than the downstairs, right? Oh yeah, the downstairs process was a little bit different because we we're actually working with two by six walls, so the window is kind of still in, but this is exactly what uh, these windows were actually made for, was two by fours, and uh, as you can tell, it protrudes a little bit out of the wall, and that's perfect whenever you lay sheetrock it's going to be perfectly flush on this window and hopefully it's going to make the installation a lot easier because we're not going to be able to frame this window out yeah. like we did down there yeah, there's no need for all that there's no need for perfect measurements all we got to do is throw a couple of shims that way we could actually screw it into the two by fours here and the rest will be covered up with some sheetrock dude. dude it's going to look good and hopefully this is a lot easier and uh we can knock out these three upper today. windows today and see what that side actually look like with three windows okay, you let know me I mean? stand over here for a second look at the view you're going to have in the duty room right here dude, man. man that's crazy man you're just gonna be chilling watching youtube or something like that dude we should put like a toilet probably right there dude, instead of it put being it right, right there. here man with two handles right here <laughs> perfect man <laughs> dude but everything else is prepped right we got the flashing around it we can't forget about the foam yeah got plenty of it right yeah we got plenty of it we actually got three cans and we noticed that one can per window so we got perfect amount for the three upper ones and uh yeah i say we we'll go ahead and try to install them all Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Everything opens and closes nice and smooth. Of course, we had to test each and every single one of them just to make sure we didn't get, on, get them on their lopsided. Oh dude. yeah, and we actually went ahead and leveled them all out before we screwed them in. So these suckers are in leveled and everything. They're in here perfectly and they're in here for good now, dude. dude exactly. Huge shout out to JB Millworks as well. Uh, the guy that comes out here and measured it, dude, just measured, perfectly. measured it up perfectly. So huge shout out to JB Millworks plus sunwindows.com. I mean, look at these windows, dude. Dude, can't get any better than that, dude. These are some nice windows and they're, so, they're certified. So as you can tell, they're energy efficient windows as well so they're going to save you some energy in your house from the sun and keep your hvac bill down you know? plus you're going to pass your inspections because you do got to have certain type of windows right yeah definitely. Pass inspections and all that good stuff this right here is a beast dude, dude. that is so legit man that's going to be a wrap for all all six of the windows up yeah. front dude i can't wait to go out there and see what it looks like dude, dude let's jump out there right quick let's do it dang son dude that looks good man look, look at good that. that looks that looks so much better and if we do decide to paint the house white dude it's gonna even look better dude, man i think we should do like white wash on this dude make it look legit dude that alone just cleans it all up just makes it more modern looking you know dude, what i mean definitely imagine that one huge window but that's gonna like we said dude that's gonna be a whole different ball game dude, man that alone right there is gonna be some work but i'm excited for it but as of right now dude we got a lot of work done just installing all these six windows and man dude this is gonna this is worth it dude so dude so worth it man oh, yeah. and we're becoming a little almost like professionals man <laughs> getting close man getting close these are gonna be the hardest windows are the ones up front because they're gonna be the remodeling windows but the back windows they should be a lot easier they're just gonna get screwed on from the outside should be simple i think this large one right here as well is is pretty much a remodel window right yeah, it's exactly the same thing it's a remodel window so we're gonna actually just cut that one out exactly the same take the windows out try to save it if we possibly can but i doubt it because it's so big and we are gonna have to cut some stone as well right yeah and we're gonna have to cut some stone just cut out a little square so we will be doing stone work but you know what we're thinking about painting the house which will be perfect you know what i mean exactly if we patch that up we don't have to match up the exact perfect color we'll just whitewash it like you said what else do we need out here we need some led lights kind of lighting up the outside of the house maybe dude i heard that you can or i've seen that you can put like led lights like almost like can lights inside like each corner of the house and you can turn it on and at night it'll shine down look really dude. good we yeah. may even get the electricians to like hook us up that dude. looks super good and i'm thinking maybe like a little bit of landscaping right here or maybe some plants right there a little flower bed or yeah like what i'm thinking whenever we uh get this front end because we're gonna have to build some stairs i say we pour like a concrete slab 
like I don't know how how far out we should go but just pour it leave that section along with this wall right here with some like plants right there and this can be like some stamped concrete it yeah. would look really it's good some nice colorful plants that but way it pops that's all later on that's dude. later that's, man we gotta finish the inside up dude. dude with these windows we do have a little bit of stuff coming out the side you see that a little bit of foam coming out the side but we are gonna go ahead and seal it with that caulking that we bought and uh i mean after that dude we should be done dude. man I am super happy, man. Great progress today, but that's pretty much going to be a wrap for right now. I guess we're probably just going to continue tomorrow, right? We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, guys. So it is the next day here. And before we actually work on installing any other windows, what we want to do is focus on the six that we already installed here. Basically, what we want to do is just 100% waterproof these suckers because it is calling for rain in a couple of days and we just don't want any water getting inside of the house. And as you guys know, we did apply some foam on the interior. Now we got to apply some sealer on the exterior here. All we got to do is prep the surface a little bit over here, clean some of that protruding foam, grab the sealer and hopefully get these suckers sealed up. Hold up right quick guys listen dude put that rattlesnake down right now got a rattlesnake in my hand <laughs> <laughs> look at that that's just the coolest plant ever man dude that's crazy i discovered it by actually getting real close to it or actually chief here was playing with it and i was like dude is that a rattlesnake i know I, was, I ran over there like what is he doing what's that noise and it's actually the plant there's like like beads in there or something Beans like that. beans or beads something that's pretty dang cool but chief is just having the time of his life over here at he his new it. at his new place he dude. loves it up here man we got him a ball and everything now heck yeah he's just running wild man he's gonna love the hunting grounds up here oh, as well dude, man he's gonna go hunting himself dude we don't even have to hunt he'll just bring back turkeys for dude, us dude there was a I mean? bunch of turkeys out here this morning i haven't seen any deer i think uh not like up top here maybe yeah. a little bit lower we did throw out some corn some dry corn that we bought and it's been disappearing slowly but i don't know if it's from deer maybe raccoons raccoons like squirrels that. one of that dude what if we get a trail cam dude that'd be awesome gotta dude. get a trail dude, cam definitely. man that'd be on point but anyways the windows are nice and sealed up at the bottom here as you can tell we use that black sealer and it looks really good dude. dude looks really good matches perfectly but we ran out of tubes we only got four of them and that's as much as tubes it took dude exactly it's like what like almost two tubes per window yeah. or one and a half something like yeah, that it just depends some of them had a little bit bigger gaps that you got to really fill up but dude those look perfect we just got to get some tubes and do the upper windows but we'll get to that we're, we're gonna have to get to that in the next video because we actually got something huge that we're planning with kubota of chattanooga and yeah, a, a different company that we'll mention here in a little bit dude super super awesome stuff coming here real soon dude, to the goon squad headquarters it's gonna help out so much and it's just gonna be a huge game changer but anyways, what are we going to do right now just Dude, to finish right, this Right off? now, we got to actually either in the garage or upstairs, we got a big old mess going from cutting everything out. What do you say? Clean it up or something yeah, like that? Yeah, let's just go ahead and clean it up and get it ready for, I guess, uh, the next windows that we're going to install. Let's do it.
All right, so we just got done doing a quick clean upstairs and downstairs, but that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. In the next video, we're gonna start installing the rest of the windows, adding some bigger windows in the kitchen, in the bar area, and especially that one massive window up front. I can't wait to get to that. That's gonna be super epic. And also, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Sun Windows for having some amazing windows. We're definitely gonna leave their link down below if you wanna check out their windows and their doors. And also, guys, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.